Okay, we are back to talk about how the electrical energy in your brain and how you are using it, whether you are out here in the extremes of stressed, anxious, overdrive, too fast, and overwhelmed, burnt out, exhausted, fatigued of too slow, or if you are using the perfect amount of calm, focused speed to stay present and to be the most productive and feel the best in your work, your relationships, and your life. That's what we're talking about. Brain speed and brain energy out here in the extremes or in the middle for optimal arousal. Okay, now, how, whether you're using those one of those two patterns translates into the electromagnetic field of energy around your body. Now, stay with me. All of the cells in our body are little magnets they're dipoles so basically they resonate at certain frequencies depending upon how the energy in your brain is being used and then is falling out from there in terms of how it's informing the rest of your mind and your body so when you're using the speed out in the extremes it correlates to very low resonance frequencies in your EMF field, your electromagnetic field. Your EMF is very low when your brain is overworked, stressed, and exhausted. What that translates to in terms of a low resonance frequency is different emotional correlates. So at the very lowest, there is shame and guilt. Guilt and shame resonate at 20 and 30, respectively. Shame, then guilt. Down in the lower resonance fields are anger and grief. And moving a little bit higher into the 100 and 200 range is desire and willingness. And you might think of desire as good, but it is still a low frequency energy because you are... You're, you have scarcity mentality. You desire something because you think you need it because you don't have it because of lack. So it's still a negative energy. Moving towards 250 on this continuum, which is measured by science, um, the reading suggestion for this activity is a book called Power Versus Force by Dr. David Hawkins. He's an MD, PhD, such an awesome book. And in this activity, there's actually screenshots of what I'm going to share with you uh, in the next activity. So what we are focused on here is moving from the continuum of low resonance frequency energy to high. And we've talked about shame and guilt being the lowest, then moving up to desire and willingness at 250 is neutral energy. And when you can get your brain and your EMF in that place, Basically, you don't have positionality. You're not perceiving things as negative in the world and not really having a scarcity or a lacked mentality, but you also are not focused on an abundance mentality or a mentality of peace and joy and love and attraction. So in 250, we have this neutral energy. Then moving up from there, we move into the emotional correlates I just talked about. And up at 500 is love. And it's not romantic love in the sense that we, we think of or is romanticized in television and in pop culture. But love basically is internal feeling of the goodness of your life and the goodness of the world and having a positive perspective on your approach to what is happening in your world and what you want to create. Up at these higher levels, it's the energy of creation. In the lower levels, it's the energy of avoidance. It's scarcity versus abundance. So my goal for you is to shift your energy into the higher levels if it's not there already. Hopefully it's neutral or it's there. And I'm going to give you the keys through brain training to keep it there and to be able to sustain it in these higher resonance frequencies all the time so that you can become more attractive. And the reason I want your energy to become more attractive is because brains attune. Our brains attune to each other. And if 
you can raise your electromagnetic energy field, you will be a happier person and you will have a ripple effect of change. This is the way literally that we can be the change that so many people talk about. You can be the change by keeping your energy in a positive place and then it ripples out from there and will affect all the people around you. So not only will you do better in your work, you will also impact other people so they impact other people in a very positive way. This is the work, is the way that I see it. This is the work of humanity to try to evolve ourselves to the highest energy field that we can get ourselves and keep ourselves there so we can affect our children, our parents, our friends, our community, our employees, our employers, our religious organizations. The ripple effect of change is massive. So hopefully you can see that. But even if you're here just for yourself, that is a worthy cause because you'll be able to take your electrical energy shifted from negative to neutral to positive to be able to attract your dreams to you get on purpose become intentional and create the life that you love with greater ease you'll no longer be in this go 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 strive 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 push 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 mode it will come to you it will find you it will be attracted to you that is what we are doing here i know it sounds a little grandiose. It, even when it comes out of my mouth, it sounds grandiose, but that is what can and will happen if you train your brain. So follow me through so I can tell you how brains change, and then we'll get to the, the crux of it with our brain training skills. I'll see you in the next lesson.